first question. As you can see, very short, straightforward question. If the questions feel like very difficult, you don't know your content, don't be discouraged. Keep charging as always. The nurse correctly identified that the client is taking antenniceps to treat what you see. I'm reading from the back. That's how you answer test taking strategy. The nurse performed medication reconciliation for a client admitted for angina. The nurse correctly identified that the client is taking what? A tenocept. So this is the only thing you should worry about. The rest, the first portion of the question is irrelevant. They do that to disturb you, to distract you. But you got to read it and find if there's a buzzword. There's a buzzword there, a tenocept. What do you think? What is it used for? It's immunomodulator. It's a design is used to treat other immuno autoimmune diseases because it's immunomodulator. It decreases the systemic uh, inflammation and your body not to fight the autoimmune system, right? And therefore, this is the uh, medication that we use to help with autoimmune diseases. Is any of these questions, answer choices, do you think is an autoimmune disease? And which one we need to suppress your immune system to take care of it? That is all. That is the buzzword. Using it to analyze the question. Asthma does not involve that, right? Psoriasis is one of the medication, is one of the conditions that need immunomodulators, right? Osteoarthritis, all they need is what? NSAID, right? All you need is NSAID to manage it. An infectious mononucleosis is an infectious problem caused by Epstein Barr virus like EBV. The other thing you should think about, if I'm taking immunomodulator when you have infection is a problem because when you're taking that medication, you have to be placed in neutropenic precaution. Therefore, this is bad. If you select it, try and look at questions and analyze it carefully. It's an infectious problem. I'm not going to give you something that is going to surprise your immune system. Therefore, psoriasis plaque is your right answer. Number two, and this is assessing the client in the clinic with what acute exacerbation of rheumatoid arthritis, which prescription the next you would anticipate. Once again, go back and read it from the back. Anticipate, right? Prescription, rheumatoid arthritis. But what is the problem? There's a reason why they give you acute. They did not say rheumatoid arthritis, but they said acute exacerbation, an acute problem need to be taken care of by an acute medication that can take care of it right away. A tanicept is immunomodulator. It takes time to work. Hydroxychloroquine is immunomodulator. It takes time to work. Methotrexate is immunomodulator. It takes time to work. When an asthma patient comes in, what do you give them? Steroid, because you want it to take care of the inflammation right away. Acute problem need acute intervention. Prednisone is your right answer. Second way to look at the question is a test taking strategy. I look at it. If I'm taking this test, I look at it. Why etanocept is used for immunomodulator? It's an immunomodulator. Hydroxychloroquine is an immunomodulator. Methotrexate is immunomodulator. Why would I choose one over the other? They're doing the same thing. They have different, they have different names, but the major problem, they have different complications. That's all. The only difference between them is complication. But the function is always the same as the immunomodulator. Therefore, I'm not going to choose them. Don't get distracted. This is the only outlier. That is your right answer. Number three, same thing, concept mastery. Which teaching the next you include? Select or apply. That means there may be one answer there, two answers, three, four. Pick those that you know you're confident. If you know only one, please select it and move on. And this is teaching a client with what? Osteoporosis, my password. Prescribe what? Residronate. Can you recognize it? Connect the dot. Residronate, osteoporosis, include. I have to include it. If you don't recognize it, forget about it. Cancel this, the rice over there, and see what? Drone it. Dronate are bisphosphonate, and they use to prevent bone breakdown. Therefore, just by like that, even if you don't know, I give you a clue. Osteoporosis, 
residuinate. That means I'm using this medication for osteoporosis. And if I'm using it for osteoporosis, go down to the pathophysiology. The pathophysiology of osteoporosis is the loss of bone. Therefore, if I'm giving you a medication, it's going to prevent loss of bone. So you prevent bone reabsorption. Key. Therefore, other things you have to know about it. What is the problem? It causes the board wants you to know certain specific. This is the classic question. You get it all the time, right? And if you forget about it, think about uh, lipotoxin. It's the same thing. You have to remain upright for 30 minutes when you take this medication because it causes esophagitis. Okay? You got to take a full glass of water because it causes esophagitis. That's the concept. You got to take it an empty stomach in the morning because it causes esophagitis, right? You should not take any medication with antacid, right? And then you should avoid milk. It affects absorption, right? Because of calcium. You cannot take calcium with it. That's what does. It's wrong. They said, which one you want to include? One, two, three. If you see any questions anywhere like this and related to granite, they will give you the same thing I've given you. There's nothing they have that I've not given you. So pay attention and master that concept. Next question. Which action by the nurse is a priority? It has to be sharp. What does that mean? Breathing, shock, sepsis, airway. But do you see it all the time? No. I mean, if you have one second, what do you want to do? Don't take an expected finding. Take something related to the problem. And if you want to master, check out that class. A nurse provide care for a client diagnosed with what? Rheumatoid arthritis. Prescribe what? Hydroxychloroquine. Which action the nurse should take first? This is all content-based. I see hydroxychloroquine underlying and the patient is taking methotrexate. So immunomodulator given to um, rheumatoid arthritis. Sorry, it's taking hydroxychloroquine. You have to bring your content. If you need more, I have a musculoskeletal video on adapting because you should work it. But he has all these information there. Hydroxychloroquine is what? Used to, is an immunomodulator for rheumatoid arthritis. One of the biggest side effects is what? Liver injury. Of course, all immunomodulators causes immunosuppression, right? But they all have their specific Side effect, like I said from the beginning, place PPD test before the first dose. You don't need to place PPD test before the first dose. You use it for the Adalini map. Yeah, the maps. They are the one you need. They cause activation of uh, uh, PPD to uh, TV. Those ones you don't need to do that. Check your LFTs. LFTs are for metrotrexate, right? Side effect, it causes liver injury. What is the major side effect of hydroxychloroquine? Retinal damage. Retinal damage. And then check hemoglobin level. Guess what? That medication is going to cause a plastic anemia. Checking immunoglobin level, it was not going to give you any information at this time. It takes time for it to work. Therefore, what you should do is to make sure this patient go and see ophthalmology right away because if you don't do that, they develop um, retinal damage. But each answer choice is related to specific immunomodulator and you have to know them. Number five, and let's provide care for a client with what? Acute gout arthritis, flare up. Which prescription the nurse should anticipate? The word is acute, and that is the bad word. I put it in acute gouty. It's due to excessive uric acid secretion. So you want to stop uric acid secretion. But because it's already okay, what we have to do is to take care of the inflammation. So acute gout is all inflammatory problem. It's an inflammatory problem rather than uric acid. That is the key. So I'm going to pick an answer. That has something to do with inflammation. Pochicin, number one. Endometricin, number two. Motrin, number three. This guy is for uric acid secretion, and this one too, for boosterstat. They are all for uric acid. They are for what? 
maintenance. So if I ask you for maintenance to prevent gouty formation or acute gout, you give them allopurinol or fibro to start. But if not, in a, the acute problem is already okay, you give them NSAID, NSAID, NSAID. Next question, and this is retaining a phone call from a client with the word gouty arthritis prescribed what allopurinol, which statement from the client is concerning. I want you to know what allopurinol and things they're going to ask you. These questions are things they will ask you, trust me. I know because those are the clinical aspects of it. When you're doing pharmacology and you take about a medication, like you talk about atropine or levothyroxine, think about the clinical implication and what most likely you're going to be asked. Not every side effect will be asked, but the most important, this, the bigger problem is, is a sulfur drug. That's its bigger problem. Otherwise, it causes GI symptoms. So you take it with food, right? You're going to have kidney stone. It's a sulfur drug. So you got to drink a lot of water, right? So this is where we are. Small purple rash is a sulfur drug. This is Stevie Johnson syndrome. Severe nausea is a GI symptoms. Frank pain probably is getting kidney stone. Vomiting is a GI symptoms. Which of these are you worried about? Tell me you have to be sharp. Breathing problem, right? Electrolyte shock sepsis airway. This is sepsis all over. Waiting over it, right? This is sepsis. Stevie Johnson syndrome is bad. Therefore, that's your priority. You see how prioritization can be in disguise, but it's right there in front of you. Select the apply. And then she's providing teaching to a client with what? Gouty arthritis prescribed what? Allopurinol, the same thing. I'm giving you the context. Multiple ways they will ask you these questions about this medication in terms of musculoskeletal pharmacology. Which clinical information the nurse should include in the teaching? So let's apply. I'm already giving you the answers. I want to put in the question form so that you can see how you look like. Increase fluid intake, two to three liters to prevent kidney stone because it's a sulfur drug. Lab draw to monitor your kidney and your liver. Yes, it's going to affect your kidneys. You get broken down by the liver and you get getting rid of by the excreted by the kidney. Small purple rash of your call with the small purple rash on your torso. That is TV Johnson syndrome. Lab draw to monitor your white cell. It causes a granulocytosis. So this problem is bad. Take the medication with food or after meal to minimize GI upset. Any medication that causes GI upset is okay to take it with food. Therefore, there's one, two, three, four, five. Are all the things the nurse should include, and you too, you should know all of them. Number nine. This is also content, right? Select and apply. And then she's providing teaching to a client with what? Rheumatoid arthritis, prescribed what? Methotrexate. Which diet instruction the nurse should include? I told you, methotrexate is an immunomodulator. So how does he do his job? He prevent folic acid. Utilization by the cell. Folic acid is, we talk about the background later, on, we affect DNA and everything and the cells die. Therefore, if you're taking it, you should not be taking folic acid, number one. Because then if you give them more folic acid, you allow the cells to recover, right? I want the cells to die. So you should, what, include this, right? The other things that affect it is caffeine. Therefore, if I know folic acid and caffeine are the things I should avoid, avoid caffeine, tea is caffeine, chocolate is caffeine. The next one is critical thinking. The last question, if you think about it, is an immunomodulator. If I give it to you, you are at risk of infection. If you are at risk of infection, then you should be put under what? Neutropenic precaution. If you are under neutropenic precaution, you should avoid unpasteurized milk. That and close analysis of the question. And that's what you should be doing. And when I write a question, that's the way I think thinking process. So you should be doing the same thing. You should, it should occur to you that this patient should not be taking uh, on, on pasteurized milk because they're taking immunomodulator. Next question. 
straightforward, right? Which prescription did not show anti sweat and has provided care for a client with what? Severe muscle spasm. It has muscle spasm, slow it down. Which medication? Slow it down, right? Motrin is for inflammation, no spasm. Citrulline is not good. It will, it's antidepressant, right? It doesn't cause muscle spasm, right? It may be causing serotonin syndrome. We're trying to slow this patient down. We can use that. This should stigma increase with acetylcholine choline and cause muscle to contract. Therefore, cyclobenzaparine is your answer choice. It's a muscle relaxant. It relaxes it. And the last question, just to test your mind, play tricks with your mind. Concept, I picked the concept and I broke it down. Which order the next you honor, right? And let's provide care for a client prescribed with 1,000 milligrams of calcium carbonate supplement. I give you 1,000 milligrams of calcium carbonate. You have to know how to teach the patient, otherwise it does not work. You should not take calcium more than 500 milligrams. That is the maximum you should take at once. Therefore, if I give you 1,000 milligrams, you should divide it either four times a day or twice a day. So this is wrong. This is too much. This is also too much. You can take it four times a day. That's my bonus for you. Take care of yourself. If you need more, you should join our membership at that Enquest. Um, It's very cheap. We have different levels. And then you get all these videos, or you can join our crash course that is coming on in June 1st. Um, you should subscribe. Uh, you can register at www.adaptanchorsreview.com, and then you scroll on the crash course. You can check my website. Everything is there. Thank you for um, watching. Good luck, and keep charging always, like I said. Take care of yourself.